Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, Mega Crasher is here, and I want to present you guys with something that is so much more positive, so much more lighthearted, and that is going to be about Pokemon Go. Now, this is going to be kind of like a vlog slash update of my results on Pokemon Go so far. Now, today was a pretty damn interesting day. I went to the gym, ran a couple miles just to kind of warm up, get the blood flow and all that stuff, and then the real adventure started once I got out of the gym and I pulled up my phone and started playing Pokemon Go and man oh man I could just feel I could just feel the little kid in me cheering up a storm. I was so excited. So anyways, I was walking around, walking around the lake, walking around the beach, and walking around parks and all that stuff. And I just gotta say I didn't really find anything interesting until I seen a silhouette of a Pokemon that was in the nearby section. It was a Lapras. A fucking Lapras! And as soon as I seen that, and as soon as people around me seen that, complete strangers ended up uniting and trying to find and track down Lapras. We were going through the woods that had no paths. We were going through swamps and all that stuff, and it was just so fucking awesome. But, bad news is, we didn't catch it. We didn't catch it. It didn't even appear. I was just like, no! Come on, man! You gotta be kidding me! Like, I am seeing people with Snorlaxes, with Dragonites, with Laprases, with Gyaradoses. I'm like, come on, man! Like, the highest Pokemon I have is a combat level 646 Clefable. And I mean, I'm not hating on that Pokemon, that's a good fucking Pokemon. But I mean, my god, like this this right here, it, 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 it could be like potentially a very, very large combat powered like Pokemon. However, however, not all was grim because this certain Pokemon that I'm actually about to pull up and show you guys happened to spawn. And I apologize for not having the ability to screen capture this and to be able to either put it in a video or, you know, put it in this video here. But I do hope that this somewhat makes up for it here. So anyways, I end up catching a fucking Weezing. Yeah, a Weezing with a combat power of 453. Yeah, and it's extra large in both the white, but sorry, both the height and the weight, and it has Dark Pulse. That means I just got one thing to say to you Psychic Tank Pokemon, and that's bring it on, because we got a super effective move of our own, son. But see, it just doesn't end there. I got something else to show you here. Let me just go ahead and go back a little bit. We go back. And where's it at? Where's it at? Oh, shit. Here we go, son. All right. So I end up catching a horsey. And get this. It's extra large size. And let me just wait for this to focus here. Yep. See, it's extra large. And guess what? It gets fucking flash cannon. That is is crazy. Now, of course, its combat power is only base 110, but that's quite okay, because having a move like Flash Cannon is pretty damn awesome. Sure, it isn't stab and all that stuff, but still! I mean, it crushes Ice types, Fairy types, and Rock types, which means that it's just, it is just absolutely going to be amazing. I would prefer if it had Ice Beam, though, but I'm not sure if Ice Beam is more powerful than Flash Cannon in this game. I know uh, that in the competitive Gains, such as, say, Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, Ice Beam does have a higher base power than Flash Cannon, but the functionalities and the, uh, the uh, way that the game works in Pokemon Go is different. It is a lot different. Moves that you wouldn't expect to be good are actually fucking good. And I was just like, oh my god. I, I, was, I was pretty happy today. And as a nice little bonus of my efforts, I want to show you guys something. Guess what, son? And I apologize for this being out of focus once again, but you see right here, all clad in yellow. I'm level 14. Yep, I'm level 14. I'm slowly but surely getting up there, man. But, oh my god, I cannot wait until I get to, like, level 20 or something like that. Because that right there, that's when the strong Pokemon are really going to start coming in from what I have... I've gathered in my research so far, and my screen just vibrated, and nothing showed up. But, there is a fucking Venomoth silhouette, like, right, like, right there. Like, let me just show you here. Look at that! Look at that bastard! Look at that! That's crazy! 
I mean, I'm in my house, and I'm about to go to bed, because I gotta work in, like, I gotta get up and get ready for work in, like, fucking five hours. But, damn, like, this is, this is insane. But, you know something? I'm gonna leave it at that. So, with that being said, my friends, I do hope that you enjoyed this random little Pokemon Go vlog. And if you did, make sure you fire off a like. Let's see if we can aim for a modest 12 likes. I'm not sure how well uh, videos like vlogs do uh, on uh, on our channel here, but I mean, who knows? It might actually do really well here. Uh, so if you enjoyed this video, like I said, be sure to fire off a like, show some support. Uh, it always, always helps. So if you want more content like this, make sure you rate, comment, share this channel, share this video, and subscribe today to Mega Crasher and the community for the best Pokemon Sun and Moon news hype that there is today on YouTube. Because you already know the deal, but I am, my friends, when we're a community type of time is one, you know, you know that we shine brighter than the sun and the moon combined. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next up, no! Now it's time to make like Snorlax and get some fucking sleep. Holy shit! Woo!